Cross punches are overtrained yet rarely effective in the self-defense world because people hold their shoulders up and they don't want to get hit. He ducked underneath that first one while eating that body shot. Make sure you're stepping in the range. If I threw the cross punch here, I'm hitting nothing. So I want to be raising the elbow up high, still using the fundamentals of my cross punch to fire that overhand strike. Kung Fu guys, you can use your long arm Kung Fu here, come swinging through and smashing, getting some jobs done. So how are you going to train this at home? A lot of boxing coaches love the jab, cross, duck, cross combo. I think it's great. If I'm wide open, fire those straight punches at me all day long. But in the self-defense world, and people don't know shit about striking, they just throw those big haymaker punches. So we have to get the students used to punching over top of the arm. So that same combo, jab, cross, duck, I'm going to leave my arm out and he's got to train to get over top of that. He can do a very similar idea where he's going jab, cross, duck, cross, hook. And then he steps underneath this one. And again, I'm leaving my arm up and then he's going to throw that overhand punch because my elbow is up and high. This is where you got to play with it, but build the reactions in your students. So if he sees the arm, he throws the overhand. If he doesn't see the arm, he throws a straight punch. So jab, cross, boom, wide open, straight punch equals it. You're learning how to target. Or jab, cross, hold, and he's over. A very simple way to be able to make sure that your training becomes adaptable in the self-defense world. Stay safe out there.